Hi guys, so this is my official first pregnancy video. Um, so I thought I'd record what I felt in the first couple of weeks that made me think I might be pregnant and turns out I am. So today I'm officially five weeks pregnant according to when the eggs were fertilised and put in me. I should be five weeks today. Um, I'll have a dating scan next week and see how things are going. So um, if you watch my two week diary I talk a lot about um, the symptoms in that but these are the ones that really stood out for me. So the first thing I noticed I from the first day I was exhausted. So it gets to early evening and I go really, really tired. That was the first thing I noticed and actually on that day as well, I went really lightheaded. This is something that's happening every day. I'm going really lightheaded, really dizzy. If I just stand up too fast, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> um, and that is not something that I experience um, on a regular basis. So that's quite a strange one. I then had cramps and this was sort of day um, it was on and off to be fair, it wasn't every day, it was on and off, but the second day after implantation, so technically two and a half weeks pregnant, um, I did have implantation cramps. Um, and they do say they're not sure if that is what they are, but I had cramps sort of in this area, so my belly button's here, so here, just right in the middle, and it was sort of over to this side, which is um, my right side, so it was down here. And then one day it was over here. Um, in that first week, in one of the evenings, I had a shooting pain sort of where my ovary would be, but I don't really have them. <laughs> so I was like, this is where my ovary should be, but they can never find them. So I don't know what it is, but I guess you can have deferred pain, can't you? So I had um, a shooting pain there and I also had it in my boob at the same time. It woke me up in the night and that was the first week, but technically I would have been into my third week by then because that was the night of Tom's work stay so that was uh Friday the 8th of December and my transfer date was the 5th of December. Metal taste in your mouth is the strangest sensation in the world and I looked it up and the only two reasons for it I could find was poor oral hygiene and pregnancy so I had that all day and everything I ate it did not go away and it was more annoying than discomfort it was just annoying just this it kind of causes excess saliva in the back of your mouth um so that was really really annoying so I had that um around that time as well the headache started and I'm not someone who suffers from headaches so I'd have a constant headache I'd take one paracetamol and it'd, it'd numb it a little bit but I didn't really want to take much I don't really take painkillers anyway I've been drinking so much because that's another symptom I'm so thirsty all the time and I think the kind of metal taste and the excess saliva makes you more and more thirsty so I'm drinking so much so it couldn't have been a dehydration headache. That same day as well, my boobs were huge and they were veiny and my nipples had kind of spread and got really, really dark and lumpy. And we were like, whoa, what is going on? Um, and they did kind of like settle down the next day, but they were just, yeah, extra, extra big that day. Those have been the main symptoms. Another one I've had actually is during the night, I am sweating. Like I'm so hot, I'm waking up and the pillow is damp, my hair's damp, I'm sweating and it's December. Now I do sleep with a winter duvet and a fro, but I'm pretty much always like that. But I'm really, really warm. Appetite, appetite has gone, which makes me really sad because I love food um, and my taste is different so I love really strongly flavoured food, spicy food, everything and I've just gone right off it. So it doesn't, the thought of it doesn't make me feel sick, I just don't have any desire or no desire for anything. So pretty much all I want to eat is toast or plain crisps. So um, yeah, lightheadedness is every day, um, the, the lack of appetite. And when I do eat, it's got a bit better this week actually, but especially in week three and four, when I did eat, as soon as it hit my stomach, I was full and I was really, really bloated, had so many digestive issues. I always felt like big, I already feel really big. I feel like I've put on a lot of weight and I don't think it's just being self-conscious, I feel very different. 
um, but I'm just going with it. I think the progesterone drugs do a lot of it as well. Um, and obviously I'm not as active as I was before, so I've just got to chill out because I'm probably going to be getting a lot bigger. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to be one of those people that just puts on a shed load of weight um, <laughs> as well. The tiredness thing is really strange because I can get quite tired, but I'm rubbish at sleeping. But when I'm asleep, I am asleep. And that's something Tom's noticed as well because I am a champion for insomnia. Insomnia. <laughs> insomnia. Um, so it's quite nice that I'm actually sleeping. I'm always having a dream as well. And considering my body temperature is so high, I am still maintaining um, sleep. So those are sort of my early pregnancy signs. Another one I have noticed is my hair is a lot thicker and it's actually shinier as well. Um, I feel like it's growing already it just feels fuller but again that just might be because i've been on the pregnicare vitamins since september so it might just be settling in because they always improve your hair and nails my body hair is growing more and is thicker as well i've noticed that my skin's been good until today when i've noticed this lovely little spot is coming up but my skin's been quite good so those were my symptoms i am officially five weeks today so that was my sort of week two to five symptoms and um they are still sort of there um so yes we on week six next week we're going to go for a early scan and hopefully we'll see a heartbeat we'll see um because i've told a few people but it's still not settling in yet so it might do in about eight months, we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, bye.